What's going on people, it's Casey from casey-sounds.com So in this video I want to give you some tips on how to price your beats properly When I first started off making beats I, was, I didn't have a clue on like, how much to sell them for Plus my self worth was, my self -worth was low so because I've been making beats and giving them away for free It felt a bit weird, but it felt a bit uncomfortable to ask people to pay for my, for my beats But then you've you got to get past that point develop and build up your self-worth and make and just know that what you're putting out there is worth something if you think about it like the equipment you've got isn't cheap do you know what i'm saying and, and plus you're putting your time into this do you know what i'm saying so that in itself is priceless what worked for me is having a look on other websites or of producers and beat makers and seeing how much they was pricing their beats at and then i kind of gauged whether to go lower or higher than them be honest when i first started i think i was sending my leases for <clears throat> yeah 9.99 nine dollars ten dollars that's about seven pound it's crazy but that's what it felt right at the time and i don't think like if you are selling your beats for ten dollars or seven pound i don't think you're crazy you you do what works for you so if you want to price your beats at twenty dollars price it at twenty dollars for a lease same with exclusives like my custom beats start from 200 pound there was a point where i was thinking that's way too much to be asking people but at the end of the day the time that goes the time that i put into making these beats for the artist and my thought process and the beat that i make it's definitely worth it do you know what i'm saying because what they're doing afterwards with the beat and how far they can go with the beat it makes sense to put it at that price it's going to come a point where i know i'm going to put it higher my price is going to go up i know it is <laughs> <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> yeah that's just how to price your beats see what everyone else is doing if you're new to this I wouldn't go in there with $40 beats but if your beats bang why not do you know what I'm saying so it all comes down to self awareness if it works for you go with it if no one's buying your beats at $40 especially because no one knows that you're selling beats then you might have to drop it a little bit but if you've got like a a decent following or um, you've been putting stuff out before you actually start selling beats and people know about what you're doing. You can put your price at a decent rate. So for me right now, my leases are $25 and that's at MP3. Wav, that's $40. So it's like 30 pound or something like that. When I first started out, there's no way. Yeah, it has definitely gone up since I've started. And I think if you're new to this, then I would say start low, build it up, to a point where you're comfortable, people are buying your beats, and then you can boost your prices. But don't be put off by the, the um, by the industry being oversaturated. Because for me, that's just like that's kind of like a defeatist attitude. Because if you think you can't sell beats, and you ain't gonna sell beats. If you think you can, then you can. It's like that saying. Forget how it goes, but similar to that. So you understand what I mean. It's all about your mindset and knowing your worth and self-awareness so yeah <laughs> that's a uh, that's how i'd price my beats and i hope that video has helped you in understanding how to price your beats so just to quickly recap if you're new to it and your following's low you haven't sold any beats start low and build it if you've been making beats for a while and you've maybe sold a few beats offline face-to-face -face artists coming to your studio then have a look what everyone else is doing and then go like in the middle of what everyone else is doing so like twenty dollars for at least mp3 and then wav is a little bit more higher because it's better quality not that, not that everyone knows the difference between mp3 and wav but as an audio geek it just feels it doesn't feel right to be having the mp3 and the wav at the same price so yeah, like I said, I hope the video has helped. Is it, if it has, hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting up little tips and tricks and behind the scenes that I don't always put on YouTube. And as per usual, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time because life 